What's up guys? Kevin here, back with finally another uh, coffee break. <laughs> um, <clears throat> first off, my apologies. I can't keep a schedule and also I went on vacation. So that's why there hasn't been a coffee break in uh, two months. At least that's what I tell myself. I'm sure I could have done it, but uh, you know, I'm um, very, very terrible. Um, so I have a pretty long video today just to encapsulate my, the last two months, I guess, of, um, of stuff. Um, uh, and again, if this is your first time watching, this is Coffee Break. Um, this is supposed to be a monthly reoccurring, um, essentially just like a vibe check of like what I personally liked, um, like whether it be apparel, footwear, media, etc. Um, so this is almost like a podcast sort of format. So I'm just gonna be listing down some stuff that I made notes on that I really liked while also <laughs> making coffee. <laughs> um, so because of the fact that I had such a surplus of coffee the previous few months, I haven't bought any new beans. Also, what I'm drinking is tea. I really love, so like I used to live in San Diego and then there's this really cool tea shop called Paru. So today I'm drinking Earl Grey Lavender. Really, really good. Uh, super recommend it. Just the steeping time and all that, uh, the ratios are there, but super, super good. They have a really nice like oolong as well. They specialize in small batch teas. Um, their matcha is really good as well. If you guys are in San Diego, please check out, I believe their La Jolla location is the one that's open. I think they just announced that um, their second location is closing down just because they're trying to minimize uh, expenditures, etc. So that's that. I'm drinking that right now, but I am gonna make myself some coffee. Also, if you hear drain noises and all that weird shit, I am doing laundry. <laughs> Sorry about that again. So today I'm just gonna be doing a quick pour over. I've done that before, but I'm just gonna be doing a very loosey goosey. Actually, no. Nah. I think I'm just gonna make a mocha pot. So I made a mocha pot earlier today. Also, please pay no attention to the steaks that I have here on a drying rack because uh, that's for dinner. So actually the first time that I made a mocha pot on coffee break. Someone recommended me to get a mocha pot filter. Um, and I actually took their advice. Pretty, pretty good decision, yeah. The mocha pot filter, I feel like, makes the coffee taste a little bit cleaner. It, it is a little bit of an extra step, just because of the fact that you, well, one, you have to rinse the paper so that the paper filter tastes doesn't come in, but I got these off of Amazon. Just filter paper. What I do is I just place it in here. It should fit fine. And then I let it rinse through just a little bit. I don't really use hot water just because I'm too lazy and I feel like that would make it way more of a hassle than I think it's worth. But if you just do it really quickly with cold water, I think it's perfectly fine. Man, I am just, dirty. I did go on a vacation with my wife to Greece. We went to Mykonos. Mykonos was really nice, super sunny. So I definitely, I got fucking burnt and I got tanned and I look, I look two shades darker. So in case you guys are wondering, no, I didn't spray tan. I didn't get the Kim K special. Uh, I just went to Mykonos and I essentially just fucking died there and now i'm here back in america somehow trying to get back into the flow of things before i forget and i lose everyone's intention span the first one is the kanghyuk uh right it's the kanghyuk reebok yes it's the club c so i thought the club c ltd that looked super super sick because the soul is a whole nother it almost like gives it like a weird futuristic runner soul um and they're also doing i believe a classic yes a classic leather um both of those really cool classic like kanyo like distressing slash 
utilitarian, almost gives me like Tom Sachs slash like old school NASA vibes. Um, I really like these as soon as I saw them. I can't tell whether or not I like the Club C more or if I like the classic. I think the Club C, I think looks super, super classic. Uh, but I'm leaning a little bit more towards the classic actually. Um, I think they did a great job. Like Kangyok really is one of the premier collaborators with Reebok and I really appreciate all the cool shit that he's doing. So big, big plus. Next one, a repeat, Hal Studios 1130 uh, Glacier. That one was shown off in Paris Fashion Week. Um, I believe last Paris Fashion Week, but this one is supposed to be like the launch and it should be coming soon. Um, I really like it. Same sort of like kind of color scheme as the Kang Yuk, where it's like mostly white upper with red accents. This one, same thing, red, white, black, super, super killer. Um, really, really like the red laces that dipped or dipped in gray plastic, I believe. Um, I've, I've really enjoyed their first and second 1130. I think this third one is gonna be no different. I think all three are hits, fucking fire. Um, yeah, hopefully I can score these. Um, I did hear from John that they will be doing some sort of pre-order again for people who purchased the previous 1130, but there is no release date announced yet. So stay tuned to How Studios uh, social media networks for any launch details and stuff. Oh, this is a cool one. It's the Air Force One, not Air Force, yeah, the Air Force One off-white mids, the graffiti as well as the Rashid. Uh, both of those, I personally like the off-white Air Force One mids. They look super, super cool. Um, I wish the Rashid ones were a all just black leather instead of like a black patent leather. I know why they did it. I know that the OGs have patent leather, but I just hate patent leather with such a fucking, like in my soul, I wish patent leather just didn't exist. I I think it's a stupid material. I, I mean, yes, it's waterproof, but leather is somewhat waterproof too. Um, the mid graffitis are super cool. All white leather upper with the graffiti on the side. I thought that looked really cool. An ode to street culture, graffiti culture, and all that cool stuff. Ooh, this is a cool one. Uh, Victor, Shevchensko? I'm sorry, I, I am butchering their name, but they have a very, very cool, like, I believe he used to be a Yeezy footwear designer. Um, he has some footwear concepts that I think are super, super cool. I know that he made some of the Yay 24, or 20, yeah, the Yay 24 graphics, um, but, I mean, like the graphics look cool, but obviously him running for president, not a big fan. But the footwear prototypes, super, super fucking sick. You should definitely check them out. I'll put links, or not links, I'll put links in the description for all of the stuff that I'm talking about, but the images should be up here. But he has some really cool futuristic designs. Gives me like alien vibes, almost, oh, Oakley factory team slash easy season eight vibes, you know? So I like it. I thought it's very cool concepts. Ooh, the cold wall air max plus that all black or not that all black, the all blue, the flooded blue pair. Fucking like cream of the crop that shit. Oh my God. I'm looking at it again. So it's, it's all blue. I get it. You know, it might be boring to some people, but I thought it's very tastefully done. That shade of blue is fucking sick. The cream and the black, eh, it's cool. I get why they did it, but the blue with the TN on the back, like, I God, I'm so fucking cringe. Next up, the Jound, Van Skate Mid and the Authentics. I thought th that was a cool triple uh, model release where John essentially kind of made it for service workers, which I think is a cool sort of nod to 
sort of that workwear, like modern workwear sort of inspo. And remember, when you're filling it up, fill it up just underneath that little spout. Also, when you're tightening it, close it quite tight. Also, you always want to put hot water in. I've seen some people put lukewarm or cold water in and it just takes forever for it to boil and then the coffee, you know, like a part of it starts getting oxidized and then it's, it's, it's done. It's done at that point. But yeah, I like the skate mids this time around a little bit um, more. I think it just looks cleaner. I like the white on white look of it. Um, the authentics, I think I like the authentics more than the skate mids. That pair looks super nice, super sick. Uh, the rounded laces, uh, the off-white sole. I like it personally, personally. Like, I, uh, it's very simple. Um, it was still sort of my complaint with the uh, first Vans release that it was too, too boring, felt like a GR, and some people disagreed with me. I still stand by it. Same with this one. I like the Authentics a lot more, but eh, the Pharrell Minecraft pen. I thought the Pharrell camo looked cool. I know that a lot of people are saying that it looks too close to like a Loe bag or jacket, like the pixelated stuff that they did. Um, I agree, it does look pretty similar, but I liked the colors of the Pharrell um, ones. I don't think that he really hit it out of the park that well for his first collection, especially compared to Virgil. Um, because I felt like Pharrell styled things a certain way rather than trying to create things, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but like, I think he has a great keen sense of style, but I don't know if he has necessarily a design perspective. I know there was a lot of callbacks to his earlier stuff at BBC, um, as well as bringing the clips out and stuff like that. Like, he's a great multifaceted creative director, but I don't know whether or not he has enough experience with apparel, but again, that was only his first one. We'll see how he does in the subsequent following collections. Um, the on-running post-archive fashion. Um, I have been kind of opposed to on-running, um, but the post-archive fashion, I think they just had a very clean silhouette, and I thought it worked really well with like the entire collection that I was like okay cool like I think that's like the only time I've seen like on running actually look cool is on post archive fashion they uh, teased it this past Paris fashion week um, that was really the only time I was like on running looks kind of sick in this one uh, every single other on running shit looks fucking clown like it just it just doesn't look good it reminds me of you know like all birds sort of vibe you know like I just, eh, like, I, like, I'm cool without it, I'm cool without it. But the post archive fashion ones, I think it looks sick with like the entire silhouette, so I'm like, that makes sense. Oh, this next pair, I actually have it. So this, I wrote this uh, part of the script before it even came out, and I've already had a chance to wear it on my trip, but these are the Action Bronson Lapis Azuli, um, named after a stone, Looked super nice. I wore it my entire time I was in Greece. Uh, I thought it was really sick. It is pretty comfortable. Sizing is a little bit weird. So unfortunately I was only able to score size seven and a half. So I definitely did have to stretch it out a little bit. So I have these shoe stretchers in the event that like I am only able to hit like a small size. Um, so seven and a half. Lengthwise, actually, it was like kind of okay. It was the width that was annoying, so I stretched them out for like two or three days before my vacation. Wore them throughout, it was a little bit tight, but now they fit I. So you could size down half size and still be okay. Um, lengthwise, I think if I put my true to size, the length would have been an issue. So it looks like this is about done. Turn it off and put some cold water on it. You don't have to put cold water on it unless, the only time that I think you should is if you plan on keeping it in this vessel. Um, if you're planning on decanting it or immediately making a latte, you might not need to like pour 
or put cold water down the side. I personally like my coffee cold. I know it's a degeneracy to some people, but I really like iced coffee. My favorite. Also, holy shit, can I just say that I have missed drinking water so much versus being in Europe. Like we had a layover in Frankfurt. We had, yeah, we spent like a day in Frankfurt, a day in, a or two days in Athens, and then the rest of the time in Nikon. I was like, water wasn't like super available. I just have to like constantly be looking for like markets to like buy water. There's like no water found at any of the airports and shit. And I'm like, bro, please, I need water. And then ice water is also like, people don't regularly give you ice water. Um, that hurt my soul. Anyways, <laughs> I like this color more than the one that came out before and also the one that is coming out. The one that is coming out is like, it looks like the upper is like all yellow and, or no, it's like gray and yellow and I, I don't really like it. Um, not a really cool colorway. It seems like really, really basic. The very first colorway with the neon, I thought it looks, it looked okay. I actually hated it at first. I'm looking at it now, it looks okay, but I would still much prefer the Lapis of Zuli. Um, very cohesive colors, cool variety of colors as well. Um, I know that he meant for only one laces to be in the whole packaging and he's like, oh, it's like art, don't change my shit. But a pair of like blue rope laces would have been sick too, or a pair of like, I don't know, green rope laces, some other shit, or just give me like a cream lace just in case you know fucking like whatever but yeah really liked it um, I'll recommend going true to size if you have wide feet I would suggest going half size down if you have like normal to narrow feet um, the length was perfect on these it was the width that was a little bit tight and then I stretched it out it's fine now um, yeah Ooh, this is something that I haven't talked about, but it's this brand called uh, like Seventh Stores. I really, really like their company. It's a very minimal company. I believe they're from the UK. Uh, they have some really, really cool products. I'll put a few pictures up here and the link in the description. Uh, like Again, like none of this is sponsored or anything. Like Seventh Stores, it's a brand in the UK. Really, really cool stuff. I really like their vest. Their vest was really cool. It's like a magnetic like shirt, like Cuban shirt. They have a zip up vest. Their hoodies look pretty comfortable. Um, although they're kind of expensive, I will say. Doppio, it's okay, Papa. My dog is crying because she's mama left. Oh, little cheeky little, my little it's fine, just let, come on, like mom wants to go get the mail. Fucking crackhead. Um, yeah, so please check them out. I plan on picking a few things up, but this vacation wiped out my funds, as well as, bro, some fucking weird ass neighbor, so I parked in my friend's neighborhood. They fucking towed my car because it was there and it was an eyesore. It wasn't blocking anything, nothing. It wasn't even in front of anybody's home. And motherfuckers called the police and they fucking towed it. It was like $900 in total. Fuck that shit, bro. Oh my God, that shit got me heated. Um, so that's why I can't buy seven stores uh, items. It's fucking bullshit, but maybe next month or something. Ooh, Dying Montreal Asics. I fucking struck out on this release and I'm really holding back from paying the resale because I liked the entire shoe. I liked it. The Dime release was terrible. A6 release was terrible. I didn't hit on any of the raffles that I put in. So I'm basically SLL. Prices, I think they're not too bad. I remember um, checking right after um, they dropped. And I remember thinking to myself, I'm like, there's no way. Oh, never mind. They're fucking, they're kind of stinky. Uh, for my size, size eight and a half. Oh, 220. That's not terrible for a retail 160. I, I mean, that's, that's doable, but again, $900 for some fucker towing my car. Why? Because it was there. 
and there's a fucking stupid munis municipal code that if it's there for longer than 72 hours, they can technically tow it away. Why? Eh? So, it's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. I'm good. I'm good, I swear. I'm good. The Human Race Samba, it released in Paris Fashion Week. The three actual good colorways. The nude, the white, and the black. Those guys, with collaboration with Echo, they released at, I think it's The Broken Arm? It's a, it's a store in Paris. Uh, cool stuff, really debating on getting it. Kind of expensive. I heard that the leather's really good. Uh, I don't know, it's the shipping fees that kind of give me, because it's like, like shipping's like 40 bucks. And with the VAT exclusion, like, yeah, sure, it's like 40 bucks, but like, it's like still 200 bucks for a Samba, you know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, there's a prototype round jacket that was released with the Yeezy Gap Balenciaga. Um, that's like this nude colorway with like drawstrings in the back to like crop it a little bit more. That needs to be released. That stuff is like sick. Um, it was posted on Instagram. Um, I really like it. I wish that that version came out. I like the version that did come out, but it felt like the colors are like fucking weird. It was like a fucking bright all over blue, like flooded blue, uh, black, and then a red, and then all the materials were different. Blue was this nylon, um, black was also a nylon, but it was like less shiny. It was almost like a matted nylon. And then the red was like a fucking rubberized nylon. Like shit was weird, bro. Like the shit that they were doing. And also the V2, the round jacket V2, they released with the Balenciaga version. That one was cool. They updated the shape a little bit, but they only had it in that matte nylon uh, exterior, just that color. If it came out in like a natural like sand color, like the prototype, Travis Scott, Nike, Jordan, cut the check. I thought it looked cool. The model gives me like Air Trainer 3 vibes slash Air Yeezy 2 vibes slash, I don't know. Like it's like this weird fusion. I actually kind of like it. Personally, I thought all of the colors that are shown off so far are pretty good. The white and black, the white black olive, and then the light mocha, like the white and mocha, all three of those, I think they're all killers. I like the sole, sole's pretty unique. Um, it has like a bunch of the tree branches, which is what they used for I think, so the Air Max One had some tree branches and some stuff like that, but they also used the same tree branches on the Air Force One's upper on the canvas. So that one was really cool. Ooh, the Adidas Infinity. So this is a weird thing. So while I was at Greece, um, I guess I missed it by like 30 minutes, shit sold out. On Packer's website, they said the Adidas Infinity was only going to be released at Packer. And I was like, fuck, that is, that is shitty. So I ended up putting a bid on StockX, not StockX, on Go. It hit and I was like, oh shit, okay, cool. And then I hear that it's releasing at Adidas. I think it just dropped at Adidas today, um, July 26th. Um, and then it's releasing at other boutiques. So now I'm kind of in this weird position. Where I'm like, why the fuck did Packer say exclusive? They didn't even say like launches exclusively, it just says exclusively at Packer. So I'm like, which I would have also thought, why the fuck are they exclusively releasing such a big model at Packer? That came into my mind, but then I was like, I mean, I don't know, maybe Adidas is gonna release a different colorway for everyone else. Nope, releasing everywhere, but they're on the way, I think. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, Easy Boots, uh, the 950 Pirate Black, as well as both the 500 Tacticals. I did talk about the Utility Black 500 Tactical, but there's a new one that's also been leaked. It's like a sand colorway. Both of those, fucking. <laughs> I wish that the 950s, they came out in um, the Moon Rock. The Moon Rock, the Moon Rock. Egwa, you come with Egwa. The Moon Rock colorway, I think is my favorite of just almost all the easy colors. It's this 
Like it, it's like a salt colorway. I also really like the salt colorways as well. But like the Moon Rock nine fifties would be so fucking sick. Same with like the Turtle Dove five nine fifties. Those would be like super super nice. Um, but alas, it's just the pirate blocks coming out. I think there's like an updated shape. It's not as bulky in the upper. It, they slimmed it down a little bit, but looks like they're both releasing. Um, originally, they said that the 950s won't be releasing. Now it's flip flop back. They are releasing. Um, there is a lot of pent up demand for Yeezys. I think I read a Business Insider article saying that like the demand for Yeezys are unexpectedly higher, or at least that's what they said. And I'm like, dude, I could have fucking told you that. Like, what the fuck? Um, of course they're high. Like a lot of people love Yeezys and a lot of people wear Yeezys. These two boots are fucking stand out. The duck boot, 950, super, super sick. Um, the 500 tactical, again, amazing, amazing. I want both of them. We'll see how that goes. Ooh, new Acme, I think I'm spelling it right. Is it Acme? A-K-M-E. So I don't know if it's an acronym or is it Acme. Uh, they are a small footwear brand that has had one product release where I believe they did a pre-order for five different, five separate models. I really like them, but I held off just because I didn't know whether or not they were like gonna be, you know, I know that they worked with like Vibram and then a lot of their like leathers are like super sustainably sourced and they only made whatever was pre-ordered. Um, but I was a little bit like skeptical, but they are doing another release. Really, really cool stuff. I believe that they were also on uh, the Yeezy team for making a lot of the cool footwear. Um, Acme, small studio, a lot of their designs, I'll put them up somewhere. Uh, really, really cool stuff. Uh, I always think that it's, I mean, I think exploring different smaller designers is a better way of discovering new styles rather than just waiting for your favorite designer to like fucking flip flop and hire a new creative director and like change up everything and shit. Ooh, the Cold Wall Beats by Dre. So I'm, I guess I'm talking about the Power Beats, which Samuel Ross showed off a while ago, as well as the new Beats uh, Pro or Studio Pro that just came out a few days ago. Uh, the Beats Studio Pro, I really like them. I already have the AirPod Max, so it'd be a little bit redundant to get them, but I really like the colors that they chose for them. Um, and then I'm really hoping that the Power Beats comes out because I do need a new pair of workout headphones. If it was a Power Beats wireless, that'd be super sick. Or if they made a new version of it. Ooh, the Mr. Bailey uh, Timberland boots. It's like an all white Timberland boot with a sheet over it. Um, that shit, that shit is fabulous. That shit is glorious. That shit is awesome like mr bailey really is one of the more creative um people in the footwear industry right now i think him and salehi are like pretty pretty like out of the box and i think they're doing a lot of cool stuff yeah i'm really hoping for a release date soon because he's shown that boot off a while back and then it recently had a resurgence and then all these media outlets are like picking up on it now um so i don't know whether or not that's like sign that it will be really soon or is it they're just late to the game i don't know oh this is a weird one the adidas stan smith homer simpson i thought this is one of the best executions of that of collaborations adidas has had in the past like few years really um this the homer simpson meme of him going back into the bushes it's on the heel of the Stan Smith and it's like this like fuzzy like towel texture. I thought it was really well done. I might even pick it up. I think it looks super sick. And then on the side it says Homer Simpson. Personally, I wish it didn't have that and just like the tongue had Homer Simpson on it instead of Stan Smith. Um, I don't need it written on the side, but I thought it was really cool. I liked it a lot. Um, ooh, another thing, Sean Weatherspoon, Adidas Gazelle. The other two colorways are coming out. The first colorway, I wasn't really feeling it. I get that it's like a, a like one of one for like each pair. They're cut differently. The fabrics are gonna look different. Um, I just wasn't feeling the style of it. Um, but these other two pairs that are coming out, I think it's the white and the green. There's another one. Both those gazelles look a lot cooler for me and also they're full vegan. 
and um, they're all like vegetarian, or not vegetarian, they're all like vegan rubber, so I don't even know, no animal product rubber. So I thought, that's gonna be really sick. Oh, Van Style 53 loafers. They are a lugged pair of loafers. I came across them recently. Super, super nice. If you're into loafer, or if you're into Vans, but don't wanna fully commit to a pair of loafers, I think this is like a cool medium where like, it's a pair of Vans, but also a pair of loafers. And I believe they're like under 80 or 90 bucks. Super sick. I think they're in the Vans Volt category. So higher quality materials. Um, yeah, like check it out. Style 53. Yeah. Ooh, these are another one. Um, so I really like like Hender's scheme and what they do and where they take the silhouettes and they just strip it down and it's all veg tan so it'll age naturally. I really love that concept. So New Balance did a 576 as well as a 991. The 991 is exclusive to Japan if I remember correctly and the 576 released in the US a few days ago. Um, I don't think the 576 is out of stock yet. It did retail for 300. It is, I believe it's made in the UK, um, but 300 bucks for a pair of 576s is a little bit thick. I couldn't find any stores with a 991 online. I saw some eBay resellers trying to sell it for like almost $1,000. Don't do that. But the 991, both of those would be super sick in like veg tan. I, I love just natural raw veg tan and I think both of those would look fucking excellent. Next one that is a product that hasn't come out yet is the 860 V2 Earth or Mars, I believe. Um, both of those look really cool. Um, initially, to be honest, I wasn't feeling the 860 V2. Um, I know when ALD did their pair, I didn't even, like, like I didn't try for them. I didn't really like them. Um, they're growing on me a little bit and I thought this Earth or Mars, I guess, pack I thought it was the coolest ones of a bunch. Um, the green ALD ones are right, um, but again, not super feeling all of those like super retro runners. I think the Romeros are okay. I know a lot of people really like the white with the silver swoosh. That looks fine, but I still personally, I think the Cold Wall Romeros are the best Romero, and those came out a long time ago. Ooh, one cool release. I don't remember if I talked about this, but. Benjamin Edgar did a collaboration with Ron. I'll put their Instagram stuff here. And this is a pair of dyed half cabs, deconstructed half cabs. So um, like Benjamin Edgar, I did a review on his bands. Uh, this was originally the wide on light pair. Obviously the canvas is dyed. Um, I thought this is such a cool colorway where it just it just looks fucking cold. It's like ice cold, bro. This shit is so good. So now I have a pair of these, a pair of the white with the orange sole, and then a authentic with the cream uh, sole with the white upper. But are these not? These are super sick. I don't remember if they're still available now. Um, you can probably DM Benjamin Edgar or Ron um, to see if they're available. I just got these in. Uh, they're custom done. I haven't worn them yet, but I definitely plan to. That is fucking so good. Um, another one, Fugazi. They released a their take on the uh, the Marc Jacobs uh, like LV hat, and I thought it looked super sick. Sadly sold out, so I have to figure out if they're gonna restock or if I have to pay resale, but like that hat is like super nice. Both the navy as well as the brown hat, hmm, so good, so fucking good. Another pair of gel, uh, or Asics, uh, Gel Venture 6 white and yellow. It's so all white with the yellow back tab, I saw this on my friend, uh, like Kevin's Instagram, put it over here, it's Clorex. Really sick. I think it's like, what, like 80, 90 bucks? Uh, great deal, super clean shoe. Gives me this um, 
almost uniform sort of look with that small head of yellow. I'm like, that is, that is tasteful. That, ooh, that and a pair of black trousers, you're fucking ready. Um, now, finally, I'm fucking done with the products. I really like Samuel Ross's home. He did an interview, I forgot which magazine, but it showed off a few pictures of his home as well as he did an interview um, about his work life um, as well as him separating himself like home from work his house is like like I think it looks like a fucking art piece love that shit I'll try and link it down below uh, some other media Travis Scott is coming out with Utopia we already know there's so many fucking fire songs on there Lost Forever and God's Country that those two, if those two are gonna be on it, certified fucking bangers, bro. That, oh my God, Lost Forever has been leaked like I think over a year ago, and I have that song like stuck in my head, bro. Like that's boom, 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 boom. And also God's Country from Ye's previous album that was supposed to come out, he gave him the title track, and it's such a fire track. God. And I did hear that like future is supposed to be on it, so that's gonna be very good. If you have it, please go listen to the leaks somewhere. I'm not gonna link them. You can just Google them. But that stuff is gonna be fire. Apparently, there's another song. Um, I forgot the name, but it also supposedly has Ye on it. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I I mean, they're the the concert and the pyramids just got canceled. I guess. Um, so we'll see if that album's still coming out. He said it is, so... <laughs> um... Oh, I just watched The Bear. Good show. Fucking intense. I was watching it on my flight to and from, or on my way back from Germany to the States. Shit's intense, dog. Like, shit. She has me sweating over fucking sandwiches, bro. Like, I was like, fucking, what the fuck? But it was a good show. Um... Can't wait for season two. Um, another thing I watched, I finally watched The Menu, Super Six. I guess I watched a lot of like food related shit, but like The Menu was pretty good. Um, I watched all of Star Wars Visions. Um, like season one, I felt like season one had like cooler episodes versus season two. I thought season two was pretty mid in my opinion. Um, a few good ones, um, but mostly season one, her, yeah, Star Wars Visions, like, season one was a lot better, in my opinion. Like, the stylistic stuff was, like, fucking sick. I have not seen Barbenheimer. That, eventually, I'll see it. Heard good things about both. We'll see how it goes. This part is so fucking fully unimpromptu. My bad. Uh, Asa Rocky's Riot. Pretty good song. It's very catchy. Like, I personally really like it. I was just, like, listening to it in the airport, and I was, like, fucking getting hyped even though my fucking flights were all delayed. James Blake playing Robots Into Heaven. Um, that album isn't out yet, but I've been listening to Big Hammer pretty frequently. That's that's a banger track. Lil Uzi Vert's Pink Tape. I've again listen, been listening to that. Um, personally, I never really like Travis's single with Bad Bunny and The Weeknd K-pop. It's okay. It's I. Right. It's, it's, it's okay. I've been listening to the, the new like Keitra Amine that album has some bangers, has some like hard headers, and it's like a smooth like fucking album. So I really like that. Um, I've been listening to like a lot of Endless. Like if you guys, that's it for the media. Now I'll be doing <laughs> a live unboxing of. My birthday gift from my beautiful wife. Wait, Caroline. Caroline has noise canceling headphones. Let me just make sure I'm still going. Fuck, it's like 48 minutes. Holy shit. All right. We'll do it live. <laughs> so she got me the away luggage with, like, what is this? This is like. a professional YouTube unboxer.
Yo, I killed him. Oh, no. I killed him. Oh. Anyways. <laughs> this is actually my most chaotic video. Oh shit, these are like packing cubes. So she got me the Carry On Flex. I have no idea about anything really about Away, but you guys don't know, I have been using, well, how would you guys know? Um, I have been using the same Amazon Basics um, like luggage for the past eight years, right? Eight years. Oh, oh. Is this like a welcome note? Am I, am I in the cult? And it's been, it's been dying on me. Oh, this is nice. The leather, like, it's like the name tag shit. Oh my God. Oh my God. So yeah, mine is an Amazon Basics one that I got for like 50 bucks. It's dying, but it's lasting me all these years. And I've been refusing to get a new one. And Caroline got fed up with me and bought me a nice one. Ooh. Dude, does it not look nice? Oh shit, okay. Oh, hear that? That's some ASMR shit. Okay. Wait, does it come with another packing cube? No. So what is this for? Oh, okay. It's like a divider, almost. Okay, and all the zippers are co-branded away, so that's really sick. Scuffs happen to clean your suitcase, dampen this eraser, and squeeze up the excess and rub away. So they gave me a cleaning sponge. I didn't realize. Dude, this is sick. This is so much better than the fucking Amazon. <laughs> oh, it like clips in on itself. Laundry bag. All of my laundry needs. I feel like I need to look up a review. I'm not doing a good review. Where is the use? What's up? Oh, yo, that's pretty smart. So there's a handle on both sides so I can grab it when putting it in the overhead. And like, this is the carry-on size, right? Okay. Well, for most carry-ons, because that one in Europe was like fucking, it was small, right? It's bullshit. Well, we'll use it for Korea. we we'll use it for Korea then. Yo, this is sick. Thank you so much. Wait, what happened? Oh, yeah. Hey. Okay, so I'm gonna write my address on here. I'm not gonna show you guys my address, but yeah, that has been. That has been Coffee Break. Talk to you guys later. Bye.